If you're interested in making a detailed platformer just like this one, within Game Maker, using drag and drop, then keep watching. Good day gamers, and welcome back to our drag and drop platformer series. In the last tutorial, we added some juice effects to make our game feel better. In this tutorial, we're going to add a screen shake effect. And what that'll do is just make the impacts with the enemies a little bit more powerful and also you can use it in other aspects of your game. So when we jump on the enemy's head, we get a little shake happening and the screen shakes just to show how powerful the impact was. It's a great effect and it's used in many games. Now in order to make it appear like the screen is shaking, what we want to do is actually change what we're seeing by small amounts each step and that'll make it appear like the screen is shaking. Now what we see in Game Maker is being viewed through the viewport. So we need to change the viewport every step by only a small amount and that'll make it appear like the screen is shaking. Now I'm going to set up some variables in the OGame object. So let's go to OGame and let's go to our variable definition. And let's add some variables here for our screen shake. And the first one is going to be called screen shake. And this is going to be a boolean and a boolean means it's either true or false so we'll enable it and set it to true when we want the screen to shake and we'll just set it to false when we want it to stop i'm going to add another variable and this one is going to be called shake amount or shake underscore amount now shake amount is going to be how much the screen shakes or how many pixels it moves per step i'm going to set it at three and i'm going to have a shake time and that is obviously how long the screen shake will go for. I'm going to set it for 15 and that'll be 15 steps. So with our game running at 60 frames a second, you know, shake time of 15, that is 15 over 60, which is one quarter of a second. So now let's go to the step event of our game. And we can close this and just clean it up a bit to make it easier to see. So we can close this down. And that's our code for a background scrolling. Now you'll also notice there's a small section here which actually have been disabled. You can right click and you can disable or enable code blocks. I've disabled these, but these are the code blocks that would be used to replace this section here. Now someone had asked in our previous parallax scrolling tutorial if they could do all of this in code. Now I did it in code and I added it as a screenshot into the comments section of the parallax scrolling. But I've disabled it in here and uh, just so I'll show it to you in case you want to change yours. You can use uh, code blocks for that as well. I'm going to leave it there as it's a handy reference. So now let's add the screen shake code. So what we want to do is say if our screen shake is active, then we want to do something to the viewport. So let's grab an if variable block. And we can just close these up. Place this down here. So we want to look at our screen shake variable and say if our screen shake variable is equal to true then we want to enable our screen shake. Now we also need to make sure that it only goes for the length of our shake time and we can do that with a timer. Now Game Maker has alarms which are used as timers and they will count down each step so that you can set things to happen after a certain amount of time. So if our screen shake variable is set to true, then we want to go in and set our alarm. Do that here under set alarm countdown. And we'll just use alarm zero. We want to set it to our shake time. So that'll set our timer. Now if you type up here, you type view, you'll get a camera option. And one of them is to set the view variable. So we want to change the view and we're going to change the view x coordinate. Now our view is just zero because we don't use any other views than that one. And we want to set it to a value and it's going to be a random value. So I'm going to say random underscore range. This will be a random number between two numbers. Now we set a shake amount variable. So I want it to be set between minus shake amount comma and positive shake amount. 
Okay, we will get a number between negative, uh, I think it was three we said of that, and three. So we wanted to copy and paste that because we want the same thing, but we want it for the Y coordinate. Now, if we have a look at what's happening here, if our screen shake variable is true, we're setting our alarm and then we're changing our view by a small amount each step. Now, the problem with this is the alarm is being set every step and it never gets a chance to count down because it's being reset to shake time every step. So we only want to set the alarm countdown to shake time the first time we come into the screen shake section. So we can do that by saying that the first time we come in, the alarm is actually already zero. So if it's already zero, then we want to set it. Let's go and have another check here say that if our alarm zero, and you can write it this way, is less than, I'm going to say less than or equal to zero, then we want to set it. And that way it'll happen only once, the first time we come in here. But now we need to create this alarm zero. So under events, go to alarm, go to zero. And inside here, we can turn off the screen shake because it'll count down when it gets to zero, the code in here will then run. So we can just assign a variable and we want to assign our screen shake variable to be a value of false. So all that's left is to call our screen shake when we want to apply it. So let's go to our player. Let's go to our collision with the enemy. And in here, we can apply a screen shake when we jump on the enemy's head. And we're looking for the part where we jump on the head. And that's just here. So this section in here, we're applying the explosion and we're setting the enemy state to dead. Down the bottom here, let's get an apply to. Let's apply it to our O game object. Set a variable within O game. And we're going to set screen shake to be true. Let's try that out. So now when we jump on the head, we get a little shake happening. Now it's very minor, but you can change the variables if you want anything larger. So just under O game, variable definitions, the amount here is indicating how large you want the screen shake to be. So you can change this if you want it to be larger. So let's say something like uh, four or even five. Then you'll get a larger amount and you can also change the time if you like. Now we get a little bit of a larger explosion. Now the other thing is that you can go into here and you can set those variables at this time as well. So if you're calling your screen shake from other objects and you want it to be longer or larger, you can just modify it by setting a variable here as well. And you would change, say, shake amount and then set it to another value. And that way you can have different shake amounts for different events. Now, ideally, you would want to put the call to the screen shake into a script and you pass the amount and the time at that time. But that's a little bit more complicated than what I want to do for this tutorial. But it might be something you want to work on and try it yourself. Now that's all for this tutorial. In my Udemy course, I actually work more on the screen shake and we make it into a little script that you can call with a single line that changes the shake amount and the time very easily. The course is currently the highest rated Game Maker 2 course on Udemy. There's a coupon code in the description. I suggest you check it out because if you're interested in Game Maker, it's getting really good reviews and people are very excited about learning from that course. If that's not something you're interested in, but you are interested in supporting the work that I'm doing here, you can head over to my Patreon account and show your support that way. There's a link for that in the description as well. So thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.